Thank you guys so much for joining this one. And I will so we are in Osaka, Japan right now, and I found an apartment that A, I absolutely love, and B, is dirt cheap. And these hallways are really long. We just need to find our unit. Came all the way out to Osaka just to look at this place because I love the layout of it so much. I think, I think this one's ours here. All right, this is the one right here. <laughs> right from the second what? we get in the entrance. Look at this place. This is all the space that I have to stand right here. What is this place? This place is made up of all these neat layers. Give me a second. Oh, you just died. Shoes and we'll check it out. The stairs are barely wide enough. So you would come in from the entrance. Dog, the apartment said like a booby trap. What the fuck is this? It's set like a, what is it, an Esther painting? Like one of those like weird fucking never ending uh, Esther painting? Yeah, he made it, he made it fucking, he made it like a rust base, dude. It's like you got to cover them angles, you know what I'm saying? When they break in, when they break through the double doors, you got to cover the angles right. It's there, and then you've got... This room here with a little I that's guess, not a room esque space up here. These stairs are actually slightly scary. <sighs> okay, all right. You probably fit at least one stone here. My initial thought when seeing this little loft space was that maybe this could be the bedroom. I gotta check and see if I'd even be able to like lay down in this. Space. My head would be basically right against this wall thing here not not a ton of space but if you're short you could you could probably do it no handrails but at least i can just brace my hand on the ceiling one of the big stresses for a lot of people searching for apartments in japan is are they going to allow foreigners because some apartments are kind of picky about that wait really this place is completely okay with foreigners i'm gonna be honest After seeing the size of some of these apartments, I get why. Listen, my six foot four ass is not fitting in half of these fucking apartments. And it feels a little bit like a secret. Fort. I know that that's xenophobia work in there. I know I'm making a joke about it. That's one of the things I love about it. Like, look at this space down here. Look at this. It's just so much fun. When I first saw this space, it reminded me of this shop that I used to love in Toronto called Honest Ed's that was broken down into all these little layers. It was just a really fun shop to go to. And down here, we actually have like a cold storage space. So if you want, you can use that. It honestly does feel like a secret fort. Anyway, this is the tiny little super minimal kitchen. You've got just enough to store some stuff. You've got some cabinet space under here and there is a fridge here as well as a hot plate instead of gas. So it feels much safer. And then the bathroom, toilet, washroom space is gonna be right here. You know, originally I thought I'd be sleeping up top, maybe in the winter when it's cold, but in the summer it'd be much nicer down here because it is way, way, but then you again, the breeze up there. Also, the view out this window here isn't exactly the best because there's just another apartment building right here. Not exactly the view of views. But a quick peek in here. So this is basically what's known as a unit bath. I actually mentioned unit baths in one of my previous videos because they're a bit of a challenge like to fit yourself in here. Like, for example, let me show you. If you were to actually sit down here and try and I gotta move Bro! just to close that. Are you joking? You got a puzzle piece to your fucking body every time you need to take a shit? And this has more space than the average unit bath as well. Plus, when you're taking a shower and whatnot, because of how small the space is, more often than night, you actually have to take out the toilet paper and leave it outside so it doesn't end up all damp. Obviously much better than having no bath whatsoever, but it's still not my favorite Japanese bath format. But Okazaki-san, Ayaka, has actually 
come with us this time. If you caught the video of Ayaka's place or the one of the capsule apartment, you'll know she definitely has an eye for how to make the best use of a space. So let's go grab her. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to Osaka. Yeah, bro, if I was 5'2", I'd be having the time of my life here too. <笑>あ、全然余裕だ。え全然入れる。ちょっとここでうじうじするのもありかもしれない。もう私は<笑><笑><笑> <笑>あ、こっちの方がここ、ここの高さが低いのか。でもこれはこれでこうかもしれない。これで携帯持ってこう。ありですね。で、こうと。これちょっときついか。Do you want to see down here? Yes. <笑>上が明るいけど、下はちょっと光があんまり入ってこないから暗くて空間的にこう違いがあるというか変化があるのが面白いですね。こっちの方は<笑> That's what I said. <laughs> Usually, when we look at these places, there's this big gap between how Ayaka would use it and how I would use it. ちゃんとキッチンあるし、割と一般的な一人暮らしのサイズか、日本だと割と一般的なサイズ感のキッチンがあるし。Bro, even the fucking fridge is tiny. Like, motherfuckers would be like, hey, welcome to my luxury apartment. This is how big your fridge is. It's like, what are you supposed to put in there? One cucumber? Like, I don't understand. What's supposed to be the fucking fridge? Also, she's making fun of the faucet. Don't worry, boys. It's not the size of the faucet, okay? It's the motion of the ocean and the faucet. <笑>でも、ここに洗濯物の、洗濯機置いたら<笑> No going inside. <laughs> but you can look. いや、これ実家にあるんだよな、こういうタイプの。データ、野菜室。なんかうちの実家はここにこう、じゃがいもとか、人参とか、人参はなんかじゃがいもとかあの、冷蔵保存してお野菜とかこうバーって入れといて。
You're not a Nippon Desu. Oh my God, dude. You're so stupid. If I show my living circumstances as a six foot two American living in a rural Hokkaido, I'd 1000% go viral in a human rights and cause a human rights debate. <laughs> Super cheap. Do you want to see the bathroom? It's not three. Yeah. It's not three <laughs> stories. Shut the fuck up, chatters. なんかでも奥のって一番見られたくないからこう一番隠れてる場所にあるっていうのはやっぱ安心感ありますよね一番上にあるよりもやっぱ下にある方が確かにいいと思いますそうアイカズバスルームは結構ヒデンライトそうです
windows on both sides the air comes through beautifully it feels fresh in here you can have like a sofa here with a projector behind you that projects onto this wall and you actually have like an okay sized tv is this actually her apartment? So this building behind me right here is filled with interesting and potentially controversial apartments, each with its own Okay, why is he selling it as a controversial apartment? <laughs> it's become one of my challenges to always find a new and interesting place to bring Ayaka to. So I wonder where we should go next. I saw this and immediately I was like, what's up? So what's up? Are they dating? What's the deal? What's the skinny? You know what I mean? What's the 411? Fucking my parasocial ass, dude. <laughs> 